Hey there, before we get into this channel story, I would like to introduce myself. I am the Hood Spiritual Being. Welcome to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. It's my hope that you feel safe and respected and that this message brings you clarity. If you like my content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and we'll get this message rolling. Bye. All right, hey there, it's me, Jess, and welcome to Psychic Readings by the Hood Spiritual Being. Today, I'm going to be reading your energy and seeing what's going on around you and your energy. Please keep in mind that I am an intuitive reader, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it doesn't sound like your storyline or it doesn't sound like something you're familiar with, then don't make it fit, all right? My readings are intended to help you, like, confirm what your intuition has already been telling you, all right? So let's get into the energy and see what's coming out for you, all right? The readings this week have been interesting, okay? So please check out the other ones. All right. Excuse me. What's coming out for the collective here? Okay. We got mm, mm, mm. five of cups. Five of cups is coming out. And what I'm feeling with this five of cups is that somebody wanted you to be sad in love. So I get that you may have had people around you that didn't want you to find love or wanted you to be heartbroken and sad. And they may have done things to try to interfere in your life to create scenarios where you would feel sad, where you will feel down and out in love. Now, in the video I posted... The first video I posted this week was about um, you finding love, like a divine counterpart. And I mentioned in this reading how the, there were a bunch of jealous exes that were trying to interfere in your new relationship by spreading lies and rumors about you. So I feel like this is a continuation of that reading because like what I'm picking up with this five of cups, you had exes jealous ass exes that wanted you to be heartbroken and wanted you to stay single and wanted you to be miserable and not never find love so i feel like those two readings are related you may want to go check it out okay what else do we have coming out here spirit what do we have what do we have okay Okay, we got the four of pentacles. So these individuals wanted to disrupt your stability. They didn't want to see you asc ascend and they were being selfish. So these exes of yours felt like they owned you. And they were, it was giving me this energy of like, if I can't have you, then nobody can have you. They are very dominant and possessive over you. And I get that these are exes that you don't deal with, you don't talk to, you don't want nothing to do with who still feel entitled to you. So they feel stingy and they didn't want to share you with anybody else. But these individuals were trash. Like they didn't have nothing going for themselves. Um, they weren't trying to get make anything happen for themselves. These are individuals that wanted to keep you because they wanted to benefit off of you. They wanted to stay in a relationship with you because you were going to level them up. They didn't want to do any type of work or reflection or introspection or any type of personal development. They wanted to be a leech in the relationship where you did all the work and they just benefited off of. And because they can't benefit off of you, they don't want you to find anybody else because they want to be able to come back and benefit off of you. They don't have nothing to offer you. They don't have real love. They don't have no type of personal development. They don't have no dreams and aspirations to become a better person. No, they just want to come back and use you. So they're, these individuals are stingy. Narcissistic and stingy, okay? Next we got, hell no, Ace of Cups. So these individuals, like if you look, there's a cup. And then there's a hand and a hand trying to cover this hand. So what I'm picking up is like you may have had individuals in the past who wanted to make you a love offer. Like you may have had prospective lovers. Let me make sure my microphone is on. Okay. That you may have had prospective lovers that liked you that wanted to make you an offer. But then these exes will try to like cover their hand, try to stop them. And again, I picked up in that first uh, reading 
of the week that I posted, it was like these individuals may have gotten to some of these people by making up lies about you, just false lies like, oh, don't talk to her. She crazy. Oh, don't talk to her. She she sick. She got all type of STDs. Oh, don't talk to her because she 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 broke or she don't or she like to all type of crazy ass lies. They were trying to keep people away from you. So the number one thing that men do when they try to keep another man or a woman from talking to you, they'll try they'll paint you out to be sick. Like oh, she gave me an STD when you would it never even had an STD a day in your life. Ever. Your record is clean, clean bill of health. But they was hoping that that would scare this person away. Or they'd be like, oh, she used to date about 45 men at a time. She a hoe. Don't talk to her. Hoping that that would scare these men away. So I get that you have people in the background interfering in your relationships. So if you're single and you've been single for a while and you like, damn, why haven't I met anybody? Or why as soon as I meet somebody, they ghost me or they stop talking to me. It's because your ex is in the background was stalking you. And I get like they was watching your social media, seeing who liked your comment. If you know how like when you start talking to somebody and you, this they start y'all start liking each other stuff on social media or they'll say something you had exes that was watching your social media seeing who frequently liked your post and then they was making a fake account DMing those people like don't like her she a hoe don't like her cuz she gave me a STD don't like her because she crazy. She don't know what she talking about. Like all type of shit. Don't like her because she broke. Blah, blah, blah. She stole my money. Just making up lies. And the thing is, these men was lying like, oh, she stole my money. First of all, first of fucking all, these dudes that's lying never even had no money. They broke. They broke, broke. How she steal your money when, baby, you ain't got none for her to steal? The, the lies are outrageous but i get like that's the type of stuff that they were doing so some of these people stopped talking to you because they was like oh i you know i don't want to get involved in that drama so if you were wondering what's been going on it's been these exes that's been in the background just wreaking havoc but don't be worried by that because they're getting their karma for all the lies that they told you may not have known this was what was going on but God saw everything and God gave these men grace. God was trying not to knock them down like this for what they was doing. But it seems like these men just did not stop. They they aren't going to stop. And so now they about to get dealt with. So a lot of these men are going to prison for stalking, for defamation of character, for making up like false lies and rumors about you. They're about to receive the harshest karma and God is getting ready to remove them so that they cannot interfere in your love life. A lot of these men are about to be homeless, put out on the street. So they won't even have a phone to stalk you from because they can't even afford to pay their phone bill. They don't even have access to a phone. They won't be able to stalk you. Like they real they about to have real shit to actually worry about where they won't even be able to think about you or think about interfering with you because they they life about to be so messed up. They don't even know where they're going to take a shower, where their next meal coming from. They don't have access to the phone or internet. They really about to have some harsh karma. They, they won't be able to interfere. And also, these men know, like, exactly why they have harsh karma. Like, they somewhere suffering. And they like, damn, it's because I told all those lies. I know I'm getting karma for lying. I know I'm getting karma because I blocked that relationship. I know I'm getting karma because I lied on so-and-so. They know exactly why they're getting dealt this harsh-ass karma. All right. Let's see. What else? Up. Wow. We got the five of pentacles. Now, these men wanted you in this five of pentacles energy again because they wanted to leech off of you. And basically because you said no and you realized that you deserve more and you wanted somebody, you know, who actually added value to your life. These men started to like do they wanted you to suffer, so they tried to attack your finances. They may have slandered you at work because they didn't want you to get money, and they wanted you desperate 
and broke so that then you could depend on them. So they wanted you to come crawling back, back all desperate and broke like, oh, I need a man now. So they wanted you weak so that they can, so that you could need them so that they can come in and use you. But really, this is about to be their karma. So a part of their karma now is that these men that were blocking your relationships, now they about to be dead ass broke. Five of pentacles, destitute, out there begging, nowhere to stay, don't know where their next meal coming from, can't afford nothing on the streets because that's what they wanted for you. And so all of their own energy and intentions, all the stuff that they wanted bad to happen to you is now happening to them. So these individuals wanted you to get STDs and all type of stuff. Now they got them. Now they got shit that they can't cure, that can't go away. Now they wanted you to be broke and destitute. Now they broke. Now they don't have no money. So all of their own energy is coming back to them and they somewhere sliding down the wall crying like oh my god this is all my fault i should have i should have just left old girl alone i should have just left it alone because now they realize that they karma is their own energy clarifying i mean excuse me next we got the eight of cups you moved away and walked away from these connections and they were not happy that you basically chose yourself they wanted you to stay in these relationships with them with them where you were suffering and disempowered they wanted to suck your energy and you chose yourself you chose to walk away from these connections and they wanted to torture you for it they wanted to they wanted to punish you for it even though these individuals were not doing well by you they didn't appreciate you they didn't respect you they didn't even love you they loved to exploit you they didn't genuinely love you they were dogging you and walking and like dog walking you and they mad because you 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 broke up with them you chose yourself it's like come back here so i can continue to abuse you in peace that's what they wanted but you chose yourself and because you chose yourself and you chose to stop dealing with them they wanted to torture you but now they're being tortured by the divine all right next we got the three of three of pentacles so we got three and eight. So you could have up to three to eight exes that were doing this. I get that these are people that you dated in the past. Up to three to eight, three to eight exes that were all a part of this, trying to destroy your life because you broke up with them, because you chose yourself. But what this is showing me is that you have found balance outside of these connections. And also your love life is being balanced. So for a time, these individuals were able to block some love connections. But don't freak out because what this is showing me is that any of the men who did like you, who did believe these lies, they weren't for you. Because your real person is going to be able to see through the drama, see through the lies, th see through the BS without thinking about it like these men fell for it they weren't for you because anybody that would believe another man without checking with you without having a conversation with you or just ghosting you what you know what i'm saying they weren't for you so spirit is saying don't get mad about these offers that these lovers your past lovers blocked because these offers that your past lovers blocked weren't good because how you gonna let somebody talk you about your blessing Basically, you are a blessing and anybody that's going to let another man talk you about your blessing without using common sense, because basically I feel like your new person, let's say they do try it. Your new person going to be like, you think I'm stupid? You don't think I know that you her ex and that you still in love with her and that you want her, which is why you telling me some bullshit ass lie about her because you trying to keep me away from her so that you can have her. No, I'm still about to be talking to her. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Like your new person is smarter than this and they can see through the BS, the drama, the lies. Bottom of the deck, we got Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like you had very immature men who like these exes are just knights. Knight of Pentacles, they couldn't get their money up couldn't get their success up very immature very young like mindset still was trying to you know be out here with all types of women and shit wasn't trying to commit like this is just the energy of your exes but that's a thing in your past 
and they didn't block nothing for real okay so let's keep going let's clarify let's pull some more cards hang on all right what's coming out spirit clarify this clarify this oh all right we got infidelity wow so here is the thing this is what i said these exes didn't even love you they just love what you could do for them they they just loved you because they wanted to be with you let's say i get that you're a hard working person you got your bills paid you got your own house car internet you got yourself set up it's not much but it's it's set up and you good these men saw that and basically didn't want to do nothing with their lives like Ooh, I'm about to go over here with her because she got good Wi-Fi over here. The Wi-Fi jumping over here. The bed's clean over here. Yep, I'm about to stay over here. They didn't really love you. And they was just infidelity. They just wanted, wanted to use you as a landing spot so that they can then go out here, use your car, use your money, use your home to cheat. That was the energy of these exes. They just wanted to use you as a foundation because I get that these individuals may not have their own house, own car, own money, their own stability. So they needed you for stability, but they weren't committed to you. They wanted to cheat. They wanted to be out here with the hoes. They was trying to get hoes and be with you. So <clears throat> infidelity is coming out. Like these exes had no intentions on being genuine with you being true to you, being committed to you. They just wanted to use you for your house, for your car, for your money, for your attention, for you to help build their career up so that they, so that they could be in the background cheating anyway because they still had this immature mindset. Bottom of the deck, we got gluttony. And so these individuals, these exes of your past were greedy. Again, greedy, wanted to use you, don't even love you, don't even give a real fuck about you, but want want to keep you to their self. Because again, they want to use you for your stability. They want to use you for your house, your apartment, your Wi-Fi, your car, your ability to do their work for them, but then be out here cheating. So they were just very greedy. All right. Let's clarify this using the clarification deck. Clarify this spirit. And I feel like you felt you caught on to this, which is why you broke up with these people, these individuals and left them. But then they wanted to torture you because they like, this is my only source of stability. I can't let them go. I need them because I need to live off of them. I need to leech off of them. So clarifying, we got, what the hell did it say? Oh, unbalanced. And the relationship between you and these exes was unbalanced because, again, they were using you. They didn't really care about you. They may have pretended to care about you in the beginning to get to get you to let them move into your space. And once y'all moved in together or got serious, that's when they started to unmask and act the damn fool out here cheating, out here switching up, quitting their job, putting all the workload on you, all type of shit. So this was a um. <clears throat> Let me get some water. This was an unbalanced connection. And that's the way they wanted it. They wanted to use you. Like stand on your back. Alright, clarify some more for me, Spirit. Clarify. Clarify. Okay. We got unique. So what I'm picking up is that you are unique. You have this is these men exploited you because you have a very giving, loving energy. And it's not like other people that they're dating. Because some of these men would date other women and these women were cut just like them. So they saw your ability of being kind, gentle, loving, nurturing, supportive, and patient. They they saw that as a weakness. And so that's the unique thing about you. You are gentle, kind, loving, and caring and patient. But they saw it in a negative way because they was like, ooh, this person weak. I can do whatever I want. And they not going to check me. They not going to stop me. So it's like they wanted to take advantage of your uniqueness. Now these individuals out here in the streets 
They didn't been out here dating whoever. They didn't ran across women that's cut just like them. Women that only wanted to use them. Women that only wanted to hurt them. Women that only wanted to run their pockets. And now they somewhere sick, suffering because they like, I remember I had somebody who really cared about me. I remember when I had somebody who wanted me for me and I dog walked her. So it's like they know exactly why they get in that karma because they was out here wilding. All right, last card we got boring. And so I get like in the beginning, these these are like these men were immature. So they didn't under they may have called you boring, like, oh, you lame because you wasn't out here, you know, fast and I don't know what to say. Like you wasn't like other women out here that be, you know, that's all about the glam and superficial stuff. You might not care about that. But they thought you were boring at the time. Like, you know, she don't even be twerking or she don't even be out there like that. She lame. She boring. But they went for that. So they went for the women that be out there like that and got their ass whooped. Because that woman only wanted them for their pockets, for their money. And now they somewhere thinking back like, oh, I wish I still had an opportunity with the collective because they actually cared about me. It's like they they seeing for themselves all the shit that they was talking shit about you. Like, oh, you boring, you lame. Now that's what they want because they realize that everything, all that glitters ain't gold. So you was pray you wanted to cheat on me or cheat on you with these other women that you thought were cooler than me. That you thought you know had uh, the look or the body type that you wanted. And you see what they did to you. They ran your pockets and left you somewhere broke, high and dry, and don't give a fuck. And on to the next. And now you somewhere sliding down the wall. Now you somewhere remembering where you had a genuine. Because like these, these, these men are realizing now that they didn't got karma. That you were actually genuine. And that the women that they were chasing and cheating on you with never really loved them, never really cared for them, and weren't genuine at all. They were only with them for superficial reasons. Bottom of the deck, we got the priestess at the bottom of the deck. And this is just saying you intuitively knew this. Like, you intuitively know that they out there suffering, getting karma. You can feel it. You may be very intuitive. So you can feel like, yep. And you may have said something like this when you was together. Like, you going to miss me when I'm gone or you going to appreciate me later. And they was like, ain't nobody going to care about you. You born anyway. And now years later, they like, damn, I actually do want somebody like that. So it's like you may have predicted this a long time ago. Let's get some emotions surrounding this. What's the energy surrounding this? Excuse me, I'm sliding out my chair. Hold on. Oh, I was sliding out. Short girl problems. I got to sit on the pillow. <laughs> for this. Hold on. All right. Two more spirit. All right. Bottom of the deck, we got Joy. And so this is for you. Spirit saying you're going to come out on top of this. These individuals are trying to block, block your love life, block your joy. But you're going to come out on top and they're going to be the ones suffering. First, we got. <clears throat> excuse me. We got hysterical and fear. And I feel like this is the energy surrounding these exes. Now they're in fear. A lot of them are in fear because they know that they're getting their karma. A lot of these exes really did some wild shit to block your love life. And now they're in fear because they're getting their karma. All of what they did to you is coming back to them. I mentioned that many of them got STDs that they can't get rid of. Many of them are broke, homeless, don't got no money. Many of them are having like... They losing their work. They losing their friends. All of what they wanted for you is happening to them. And so they're in fear because they like, they realize that they messed with the wrong one. They didn't think that your ancestors, that God, that your angels was going to uh, spin the block on them. So they they went crazy because they, they did it on purpose. They, they thought like, 
oh, she ain't going to do nothing. She weak. She boring. She lame. She ain't going to do shit. I can get away with whatever. So they took it too far. And now they're getting that energy back. And they know exactly where it's coming from. They like, oh, shit. It's because I did that to so-and-so four years ago. They know exactly why. And so, like, they scared. They got karma. Some of these exes may be coming back trying to beg you for forgiveness. But it's above you now. It's it's between them and God. You don't have nothing to do with that. But they think that you do. So, some of these exes may feel like you curse them or hex them because they're getting karma. But really, you didn't. It's their own energy just being returned to them. And they know exactly why. They know exactly why. They're like, oh, shit, it's because I fucked up. Excuse me, guys. I've been scratching my arm in these videos because I got a flu shot and it itches. Like, where they prick me at, it itches. Next, we got um, neglected and sadness. So, many of these men are neglected. And I mean neglected. I'm hearing in poverty. They can't take care of themselves. They can't take care of their mental health. They can't take care of their physical health. They can't take care of they self. Like, they can't even take care of their basic needs. And so, many of them are neglected, homeless, out here. On, but it's like, it's they fault. They, this is their energy because this is what they were hoping for you. When they were trying to block your love life, they thought it would be funny and now they're getting that energy back, and now they're sad. Last, we got optimistic and joy. This message is for you. Spirit is saying, stay optimistic about your love life because you really are about to get blessed with a mature, healthy, divine counterpart that these individuals won't be able to block, okay? So Spirit is saying, stay optimistic and be thankful in a way. Let them, um, they weeded out a lot of the men who, weren't worthy of you because now you about to get your real masculine and you may want to check out the first video i posted this week because it talked all about i went into detail it was a 50 minute read love reading about you finding a divine counterpart that actually values you that's responsible that's wise that's intelligent that defends you and can see through bs so this is just that energy coming up again you are about to meet that person and these exes can't touch and won't be able to you know trick them or nothing all right so basically your love life is protected and you're going to get your real divine counterpart and there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it because this divine counterpart baby they don't play about you all right let's clarify clarify the five of cups clarifying our five of cups we got the queen of wands we got the determ it says determination these exes were determined like they were dead set on trying to ruin your love life keep you from dating anybody so they went all out excuse me i'm trying to organize these cards they went all out with like lies about you slandering you making up rumors they went all out they were determined to block you from ever finding love again these individuals were stalking you stalking your page harassing people that you were talking to they were determined to make sure that you you didn't find love meanwhile they was out here fucking everything moving dating everything moving but didn't want you to have love very selfish but they get in their karma because all of that shit they was doing with these other people. Now they got STDs. Now they homeless. Now the person that they was with then ran their pockets and they don't have nothing. Now they done got left with a baby. Like they did all the type of negative shit. Now they finding out the kid ain't theirs. All the type of negative shit that they was like they getting that karma back. Because they played with you. Clarify this for a pentacles. Okay. Clarifying this for a pentacles, we got the knight of wands and it says desire. This is confirming that they had a strong desire to mess with your stability. And I'm also picking up that many of these men may have used SEX to try to keep you trapped. Like they thought that if they, how do I say this without getting flagged on YouTube? They wanted to keep you gone off the SDX. So that's what they use to trap you, to keep you stupid so that they could then exploit you. So many of these people, your exes were good lovers 
and you may have like wanted to keep them in your life because the loving was so good, but they were terrible people. They did terrible. They had terrible intentions surrounding you, but they kept you in good loving energy as far as the SEX goes, because they knew that that would keep you hooked to them. And they wanted you hooked to them so that they could use you again for your stability, for your house, for your car, for your money, for your access, if you will. Okay. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Okay. Clarifying the Ace of Cups. We got the Four of Swords. And it says Repose. Hold on. Four of Swords. I got, I'm about to look this up. Because I think Repose means to like be sad. Or I just want to make sure. So I'm about to look it up. Because I ain't trying to give y'all the wrong information. Hold on. Hey Siri. What does Repose mean? Repose, a state of rest or sleep or tranquility. Okay, thank you, Siri. So this means, so what I'm getting, oh, okay. Clarifying our Ace of Cups. We said this Ace of Cups were these individuals trying to block your love connection. So they were trying to confirm this, like, keep you your love offers, keep them sleep. And I'm feeling this as keeping them under a spell, keeping them in deep rest about you. They didn't want you, th these men to see the truth about you. So they covered these men with, with illusions and lies. It's like they were trying to keep them sleep, keep them from seeing your value, keep them from seeing your truth, keep them from seeing your life because you're light because they didn't want this new person to benefit. They wanted to use you for themselves. So they were trying to keep these men in the dark about you by using and spreading lies all right clarify this five of pentacles please clarify this five of pentacles oh hang on clarify this five of pentacles please all right oh man that's too many spirit clarify this five of pentacles please just one at a time all right Clarifying our five of pentacles, we got justice, equality. So we mentioned how this five of pentacles, they wanted to keep you in poverty, but justice is coming, meaning that justice is being returned. All of what they sent to you or wanted to happen to you was happening to them, and that is justice. That's equality. You're just, things are getting balanced out. Point blank period. Okay? All of it's like, not in five of pentacles. That's karmic justice is what I'm hearing. Clarifying our Eight of Cups, we got the Ten of Pentacles Legacy. So we said this Eight of Cups, you chose yourself because you realized that these men and these exes didn't care about you, didn't want what was good for you, so you chose yourself. And now we got the Ten of Pentacles that says Legacy. You built a successful legacy. You put that energy that you were given to these exes into yourself, and you've built yourself up financially. You found stability. You found happiness on your own outside of these men, okay? So maybe at the time you you were codependent in these relationships and you thought that you couldn't find success on your own or without a partner, but letting them go, you, you've leveled up. This is the, excuse me, most successful you've ever been and you've done it single. You know what I'm saying? Whole time you thought you needed a man, you just needed yourself. You feel me? All right. Clarify this three of pentacles, spirit. Clarify this three of pentacles. Please clarify this three of pentacles. All right. Clarifying these three of pentacles. We got the ten of swords. We got finality here. So the three of pentacles, I told you that you had, um, this is you finding balance in your relationships, in your love relationships. And what I'm getting with the finality here, look how all these are skulls. And what I'm getting is like your exes, they're done for. They're done so. With the finality here, like they brought all of this karma upon themselves, and they're done. They're getting ready to be permanently removed out of your life. For so long, they've been trying to block your, they were blocking your love connections. But the Ten of Swords, they about to get done. They're done so. They got so much karma coming in their life. They won't be able to function or do anything in yours. They won't be able to interfere, interfere with what's going on in your life or your love life specifically, okay? Bottom of the deck, 
we got hang on we got the magician and it says inner skills so bottom of the deck this is confirming for me that these individuals may have been using like ritual work trying to do spell work that dark psychology dark energy manipulation to block you to stop your connection but all of it they thought they were magicians they thought they knew something they thought that they could manipulate psychically attack you but now all of that energy is being returned to them boom all right so that's the reading let's end it with some spiritual upliftedness because that reading was a lot but don't hear this and get scared these individuals their exes that block these love connections they weren't right for you and if you want to know more about your love life please check out the first video that i posted this week um about love i may link it for you in the description box but if i don't just go check it out if you want to know more about this new love because this is a continuation of that energy so your exes didn't block nothing okay so i just want to leave you with something positive spirit give me something for the collective so we can go okay we got all oh, it says home earth and look at this so i feel like spirit is saying like you these men did not destroy your home they did not they tried to destroy your home they tried to disturb your happiness and your peace but they didn't okay and with earth i feel like this is just leaning more into like you're getting ready to find a divine connection you're going to find somebody that you feel at home with that you feel at peace with and i feel like this is this new divine masculine that's coming into your life if you want to know more about it check out that first reading because i go into great detail about it but basically spirit is leaving you with the know like you will find somebody you will meet somebody where you can feel at peace and at rest with and at home with it was never these karmic individuals these exes are very karmic very toxic toxic and dysfunctional but you do have true love coming in somebody that is so wise smart caring gentle patient and wealthy okay that you will be able to find home and peace in them okay so check that out. All right. So if you resonated with this reading, if this is your story or, you know, it resonates with things that you've been going through, please let me know something in the comments. Like this video and I will see you all next time. Bye.